Hey guys, Joshua Bantech and the UPS truck just stopped by to drop off a package that I've been anticipating for a few days now because it is my Cruiser Light HTC One M8 case. Now, as many cases as I've reviewed for so many devices, Cruiser Light has just always become my go-to case. So let's go ahead and get this unboxed and take a look at it and see how it looks on the HTC One M8. And that's pretty simple. So here we go. Here's the packaging. It's pretty much the same packaging that we've seen before. And it kind of comes in this like Ziploc bag. You just undo it right here. Take the case out. And I can't seem to get away from this green color. I just really like it. I think it looks really nice on all the devices that I've had ever since the Galaxy S3. And that's actually back when I first started doing reviews. So I just can't seem to get away from it. I've tried other colors, but I always tend to just go back to this green color. I, I just like it a lot. So if you're not familiar with Cruiser Light, this is a TPU style case. And actually TPU is actually very durable. Even though it's like flexible and it's plastic, you can drop it from a good distance from average distances, like from your head. And you know, if it hits the ground, it's still gonna protect it because you get you know, basically all the edges and corners are protected. You got cutouts for everything that you need, whether it's a microphone, camera, or all your controls for your power and volume. As you can tell, you can kind of see through some of this, and I kind of like the circuit board design here. It's got a clear kind of design for that, the cutouts or the edging or etching, whatever you want to call it. Something new that Cruiser Light has been doing on the last few cases that I've seen, like with the Galaxy S5, is that they're adding their logo on the Andy logo here the android guy and so that's pretty cool little touch there so you can know that it's definitely from cruiser light now with these kind of cases like what i've discovered is pretty much the easiest way to put them on is start at the bottom kind of line up the charging port and then come to the top and line up the whatever you have up here for in the case of the hgc m8 you got the power button and that pretty much does it and just kind of make sure the edges are nice and flush that they're not like sticking out or anything like that so first off you're going to notice that it is raised above the screen so if you want to put it face down you're going to have that protection for the screen on a flat smooth surface even like small little pebbles might be protected because you're not going to have the case will hit the ground first before it hits the screen and the other fact that i like about cruiser light is that you get full edge protection like i really like my edges protected if i have a case i don't want any kind of exposure on the edges because it seems to tend like even just with normal wear and tear, the edges are what gets kind of faded out the most or even on impacts, the edges and corners get it the worst. So I like to always have that edge protection and Cruiser Light just always does that. You get a full cutout for your power button. Let's see how that works. That's really easy to get to. No issues there. So let's try out the volume rocker. And that's pretty easy too. And I like that a lot. Like it's actually a deal breaker to me if the power button or the volume rockers are hard to press, I won't use the case because it gets on my nerves. So I never have to worry about that with the Cruiser Light case. And as we wrap ourselves back to the bottom, we have full access to your charging port and your headphone jack. And what's nice about this is that pretty much any size headphone jack should fit inside of here. Whether it's L shape, a big cable, it should fit in there just fine. Got nothing on this side. Let's take a look at the back end. Now you're gonna notice to get cutouts for your LED light, microphone, both cameras, good cutouts. They're not gonna interfere with the picture taking at all. And that pretty much does it. There's no other kind of cutouts or anything like that. You can see the design more now because you have the case installed on the phone and you can kind of see those lines a lot more. You can somewhat see the HTC logo here on the back and then Verizon down at the bottom, but it hides it well enough to where you don't see it too much if you're concerned about that. And again, you can see that Cruiser Light logo a little bit better now. And then they have their name here on the side as well. The other aspect of the thing that I look for in a case a lot, like it's pretty much has to be pocketable. I put my phone in and out of my pocket all day. It has to be easy and accessible, but I don't want the surface like slippery because I want to have good grip. And a Cruiser Light case does that. It has great grip. I've always had a good experience with grip. I never like really drop it or anything like that because of the case. So I really like how I can hold on to it. It doesn't feel slippery, but it can go in and out of my pocket with ease. So again, like this is my go-to case. Like I've got some really nice cases in the past, like real expensive ones. 
and they just still don't seem to be my daily driver. Cruiser Light's always my daily driver. It's just the way it is. I don't know what about it. I mean, it's it's an inexpensive case, but it's still my go-to case. So I just really enjoy them. I like the designs. I like the Android style. It's got a nice touch to it. It kind of gives you the Android pride, if you will. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so so you can see more videos like this. Yeah.